Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door, and we are back today working on our um, lap book, and today we're going to figure out what we're going to put here. So I went ahead and put the fabric here, um, and that way we have that in place so we can start working on our pockets or flip outs or whatever we want to put here and so um i think today we're going to work on this section and i want to make something like this and i saw this idea on um nick the bus nick, bleh, nick the booksmith's channel and um, i don't normally watch her but not because I don't like her, but just because, you know, you, you, you tend to have your favorites of people that you watch. And um, I have my favorites and I only have so much time to watch videos. But anyways, I was researching, you know, lap books, just kind of trying to get some ideas for y'all and everything. And um, I saw her do this on her channel with her lap book. And so I thought it was a really cool idea that we could play with um, and see what we can do with it. So, um... I went ahead and made one because it's pretty labor intensive and I'll show you. I'm going to fold this up because we're not going to need this for a minute. Well, we're going to need it in just a minute, but I'm going to scoot it over here because what I did was I did this one for this lap book. Okay. And so you can, you can put it in either way to where it flips out, you know, to either side, however you want to do it. Um, but it can be kind of confusing, so I'm going to try and simplify as best I can for you, okay? So, you're going to need three pieces of, you can use a file folder if you want to, um, because that's what she used, uh, but I didn't have one around me, and I kind of wanted a darker color background paper. I don't know why, but I did. And so, I just grabbed some craft card stock. So I have four pieces of craft card stock here, okay, and I'm going to try and simplify this little pocket. So I'm going to scoot this over to the side because we're definitely not going to need that right now. And we're going to start with these. So the first thing you want to do, now we're going to need our other light book, just for measurements. And I will try to make this as least confusing for you as possible. All right. Ooh, that one's all crinkled up. Let me grab a different one. Okay. So first off, I want to measure how wide my section is here. And this doesn't give us a whole lot of wheel room, does it? Is it going to be long enough? Yep, it's going to be long enough. But um, we might have to glue us a flap. Let me see if I have a 12 by 12 in this. Hang on. Okay, I didn't have a 12 by 12 of just plain cards. You know the craft card stock but I did have this from a paper pack and I think we can make this work so I'm just gonna turn it over and we'll use this side so basically I'm just gonna measure um, how wide I need it to be you know my width so from spine here's the spine right here so I want a little bit of, of a gap between there. And then here's the other part of my spine, okay? So once I get to the other part of my spine, then I'm going to come over about an inch and just mark a spot because this is going to be our hinge. So we're just going to come out here and mark us a spot to cut this. And then I'm going to scoot it up and line it up even with this. And then I'm just going to trim it down on this side. Okay. So let me trim this down. I'll be right back. Okay. I've got that trimmed down. And now I've laid it back down here and measured. And then I've just marked a tiny little spot here um, where I'm going to score this page. So the way you get your measurements... I mean, you can you can use a ruler and measure. I just don't tend to do that. I just kind of eyeball things. Um, you know, but you just want to measure to your panel that you're going to put this on in order to get your measurements. Otherwise, I'd give you measurements, but it's not going to do you any good because, like I say, every laptop is, uh, every lap book is different. Okay, so I'm going to sit our pages over here. I'm going to scoot this out of the way for a second. 
and bring our scoreboard over here. Okay, and so that's about an inch and three quarters. And I'm just going to score right down through there. And then I'm going to scoot over an eighth of an inch and I'm going to score again. And I'm doing that just to give my hinge a little room for the bulk that's going to be added into this little booklet type deal, for lack of a better word. Okay. So now I'm going to fold this on both of those score lines, maybe. And it's just a teeny tiny bit and it's just enough to give you uh, a little bit of room to play with okay so we have that one now we can kind of use this one as a template um, to cut our other pieces of paper so I'm going to grab one of these and I'm going to line it up and it's just a smidge maybe an eighth of an inch so I'm going to cut off an eighth of an inch there Y'all might want to try to do this with me because it can get a little bit confusing. And then I'm just going to measure here. Where's my pen? And I'm just going to mark here where I need to cut off the smidge there. Okay, so I'm going to do two of my sheets. I'm going to stack these together and they're going to be the same size. Okay. So hang on and let me, let me trim this down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have two more pieces. Actually, I only need one more piece. Sorry about that. So you need, just need one more piece. Okay, and I've made it the same size as him without the hinge. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut it, hmm, not quite in half, maybe a third off of it. And I'll show you why in a second. And again, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing. So, it's just how I roll, okay? So, it'll be like that. So, this will be here and here, okay? And I'm going to show you in a minute, if you don't have file folders, I'm going to show you how to make it look like you had a file folder, okay? But for now, we're going to go ahead and tape these together. Um, we're going to use shipping tape. Um, I wanted to use masking tape, uh, but it's a little bit thicker than the shipping tape, and it doesn't let it bend as well as I want it to, so um, we're going to use shipping tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to sit this one to the side. This is my very back one. This is my hinge piece, okay? So just remember that that is the one that's your hinge piece that you don't glue, that you don't tape first. So these two... I am just going to lay them side by side. And I like to line them up on my mat simply because it makes it a little easier to make sure that I get a good hold. And then I'm going to sit something on top of this one just to make sure he doesn't move. And then we're going to line this one up. And we're going to leave a gap in between there. And the reason you want to leave that gap is so that... Um, you get a good hinge, you know, it allows you plenty of room for your fold. Okay, so I'm going to sit those there. And I'm going to give it about that much of a gap. Okay, and I want to make sure that they're lined up good. And then I'm going to take some packing tape. Okay. And we're just going to take it right down the middle. All right, 
Try to make sure you don't get any bubbles. But if you do, it's okay too. Because this is all going to be covered up. Okay. And we're going to flip this over and we're going to tape on this side too. Okay. So we're just going to put this piece of packing tape. Just line it up. There we go. Now you can fold it over and do your bone folder, and that'll kind of give you a good crease. Okay, so now you've got a half page, a full page, and then you have your hinged page. Okay, so you've got your half page and your full page taped together, and we're going to sit him to the side. No, we're not. We're going to need him. Then what we're going to do, I'm trying to decide which side of this I want. It's really not going to matter. Let me just think about it here for just a second. Yep. We're going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to fold my hinge back this way. And then fold that eighth of an inch back this way. I think I need some coffee. Okay. So then what we're going to do is on the furthest hinge, so not this one closest to me, but on this one, we're going to lay it down and we're going to tape this to this just like we did these two okay so i'm going to line this one up here like this put something heavy on it so maybe it won't slide around and then this one i'm going to take and fold it is this how i'm going to do it no i'm going to fold this backwards like this okay and then we're going to line it. I'm just lining it up on my score lines or, yeah, not my score lines, but my grid lines on my mat. Okay. And that way I know they're the same length. Okay. I'm going to take some packing tape and we're going to go right down. I usually try to grab one side, push down, and then grab the other side just tends to make it a little bit easier all right now for this one let me just pull this up we need to cut this part off instead of folding it back this way because you don't want it to hinder your little um your eighth inch spine right here so you don't want to tape on that so we're going to get rid of this so let me cut them Okay, so I just cut those pieces off. So this is what we just glued. So basically, we glued together the first two sheets. And then we glued together the second sheet with, or the third sheet with the hinge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over because I do need some tape here. Um, just to keep um, this, the sticky part, the underside of that sticky part from sticking to everything. So we're going to just put a little bit of tape here and just try to bring it to right here. Okay, I didn't get a long enough piece of shipping tape. All right, so see that just went right over the edge of that tape there so that it doesn't stick to everything. And I just need a little bit more for down here on this end because I missed it. Just didn't get it quite long enough. There we go. Okay, so now we have our little booklet, okay? So you have this piece, this piece, and then your hinge piece. And I just realized that this is patterned and has words on it, so 
if I do it this way, it's going to be upside down. So we're going to have to hinge it on this way. So that, so just pay attention to that if you're doing one with a patterned um, piece of paper. Which I'm probably going to cut. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cover this or not. I may not. Uh, but if I do, then I won't have to worry about it. But okay. So anyways, there you have it. Still got a little sticky right there, it feels like. If you have that, take a little bit of cornstarch or baby powder and just sprinkle it on there and it'll take away that sticky. Okay. So now the next step we have is to, um, we're not going to put it in the journal yet because I, or the lap book, because I want to cover these pages in like some pretty papers or vintage book page or maybe we'll even do a collage on a page or something. Um, but this is how you make it and I'm going to show you how you put it in your journal or your lap book so basically this will lay right here okay And it, it will all three open up. And then this will be hinged in and you'll have and then we'll put another sheet of paper here to make it to make this pretty. Okay, so hopefully y'all get that. So let me I'm gonna show you that one more time because I know it's kind of confusing. So basically you have two sheets of cardstock, these two sheets. You cut this one at a third, you leave this one, you know, according to your measurements for your book, okay? So that's two sheets. And then you need a third sheet that you're going to leave with a hinge on it, okay? So you glue these two sheets together first on both sides, okay? So on this side and this side. And then you fold those up and you line them up with this third sheet and then you put those together on this side and then you only put tape on up to here so that you don't cover um, your little hinge here. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So now I am going to, um, I'm going to pick some papers to go on here and get them on here so that you can kind of um, uh, see what I'm talking about. And then we will cut I'll show you how to make these look like file folders, okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my papers added on. That tape's doing something there. So, this is what it looks like. So, I just used like some, this is old ledger. Um, and I used like some old magazine ads. This was from um, a, a photography Add, I think from the 60s or the 50s and this is from um, this is a German sheet that my sweet friend Eve she is Eve in Wonderland and she's the snippet shop on um, Etsy she sent me this um, in a whole big bag and I have hoarded it and she told me when she sent it to me she said don't hoard it we have plenty but I can't help it and then this was from um, some kind of old old book magazine type deal music and then I left this for now not sure if I'm going to leave it but I'm going to leave it for now just so that we can move on and I can show you how to make these look like file folders and um and then we can get them into our lap book so um let's grab our envelope punch board and I'm just going to, so I want it to look like there's a file folder on this end and a file folder on this end. And then I'm going to punch this one for the file folder to be in the middle. So basically, I'm just eyeballing this. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully now you can see. All right. So basically, I'm just going to pick a spot. Like, maybe I want my file folder to be this wide, okay? So, if that's how wide I want it, then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just stick it up into uh, my envelope punch board and punch. 
and then however wide I want it, I'm just going to go right here and punch. So say you have these little notches cut out. And I have a little piece of paper sticking up right there that we need to trim off. There we go. All right. So now I want to get rid of these because this doesn't look like a file folder with these extra pieces sticking up here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring in my trimmer. I probably should resume. Resume. <laughs> Not resume. Y'all know what I mean. Read my mind. I'm going to zoom out so you can see a little better. So now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to line this up with my cut line. This is my cut line right here. Okay, so I'm just going to line that up and get it as, get. I want this little dip here where we punched to be as closely lined up to that cut line as possible. And then I'm going to bring my trimmer and I'm just going to go up to that cut line because I can see it underneath there. Okay, so that cut that piece off and then I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to do the same thing up here. a little too far in right there but that's okay because we can fix it so I'm just gonna take my trimmer my scissors and just snip that off and then you can't see it on this side can y'all see that it just cut it just a little so we might can put something pretty there or something all right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is round my corners. Ooh, that needs to be emptied. Okay, and so now it looks like a file folder. See? So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Let's scoot our trimmer out of the way. All right, so for this one, I want the tab to be, let's do the tab at the top on this one. So let me just get rid of some of this stuff here. If not, I'll have trash everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in again for you to see. So we're gonna go ahead and, and punch both of these pages and then we'll trim them. Um, so, if I want my tab to be kind of at the front, I'm going to take the corner of my page and I'm going to go, okay, in your envelope punch board, you see this little piece here? If you can line it up with like this little piece right there, and if you practice a couple of times, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, It'll kind of show you what, what I'm talking about. but So I'm just going to line this up in there on the very edge. Okay, and punch. So see, so you get that type of a corner. And then I'm going to come down here. Hmm, I mean, as far as you want to, but however big of a tab you want, you just kind of gauge it yourself. And then I'm going to punch right there. Okay, so I have the tab there. And then I'm going to take this last one and I'm going to just stick this right in there where this tab is. I'm just going to, and you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You can make this tab as big or as small as you want to. So we're going to go to the middle and to the edge on this one. Okay, so now we have... Our file folder cutouts punched and we can bring our trimmer back up and trim off our excess okay so the first one we wanted this tab let me make sure you can see I probably zoomed in way too far sorry about that guys 
Okay. So this one, we want to keep the top tab. So we're going to line this up with our cut line. Okay, and then close that. I absolutely love the lighted. And you can kind of feel it when it gives and you know you've cut all the way to that to that tab part. There we go. So now that looks like a tab, and then we just need to punch the corner of this one. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this one up. And we're gonna cut away our top part. So we're gonna line that up with our cut line. I wanna make sure I'm straight. Okay. Around the corner on that one. Oops. We got things falling everywhere. Okay, and so now we have it looks like little file folders. Should be super cute. So now we can put it in our lap book. So we're gonna bring our lap book over. Where are we on time? We gotta hurry. All right, so we're going to place, let me move some stuff. We're gonna put this here, like this. So it's gonna line up on the very edge of this spine. See, there's our spine. Um, and then here's the curve to our spine on this one. So it covers the whole area. So we're gonna go ahead and glue our hinge down. So let me glue it. Okay, and just remember, when you glue this, don't glue your hinge, um, your little hinge line. Just glue to that first um, score line, okay? So now we're just going to line this up with our, at the very edge of our spine. Try to make sure we're straight. I'm going to take the bone folder and run it down through there just to make sure we got a good hold. Okay, so now we have this. Can you see everything? We have this, this, and this. Okay, so then we need to put something here. And I have a piece that I've already chosen and cut, and so it's going to go. It's going to go right there. Like that, and I think I need to trim it down just a hair on the edge. Okay, so I've trimmed it up and I've got the glue on it, and we're just going to lay it right in here. Like this, and I'll make sure my hinge can close. Okay, so we're just gonna rub this all down, make sure we're in there good, and we don't have any bubbles. our backing we have this make sure y'all can see what I'm doing we have this this and this this page and then this page okay and then we can come back and we can add pockets and things like that um, once we get ready to start doing um, the decorating part 
So that's it for this video. Um, the next video we'll do what we need to put on this one. And, um, and then after that, hopefully we can start doing some decorating and adding some pockets in. So like and subscribe for me if you will. Leave any comments or questions you have in the comment box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Big hugs.